What's up guys? I got another video together for you of customized tools that you can build yourself for a whole lot less than buying. These tools here are gonna be really simple to make, not cost a whole lot of money. If you have a little bit of welding skills and a little bit of ingenuity, you use these ideas. Before we get started, if you would, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed by now, what are you waiting for? If you click the little bell down below, you'll be notified whenever the next video drops. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, this little monstrosity is another one of my little inventions uh, from being cheap and wanting to build something instead of buying it. There's a lot of different ladder cranes and things like that out there, and uh, they are too simple for what they're wanting for them. They're wanting $400, $600, $800. What we got right here is a worm drive winch that you can get from Harbor Freight. And we've got leftover two inch square tubing, fairly thicker. And then I had some leftover angle iron that uh, I welded on, basically reinforced it like this. So you've got them actually spaced just right so that it'll actually fit on a step ladder or it'll fit on a straight ladder. And then I made it so you could take it apart. So if you needed to go up on the roof, you could carry it. And this is pretty simple as it comes. For starters, we're just gonna use a small six foot ladder. Now you could use an eight foot, probably would be what you'd normally need, but uh, we're gonna show you what we got going on here. So you take your metal piece here, you attach it to the ladder, which on the very top rung, it doesn't fit real well, but say for this one here, fits perfect. So this is why you'd wanna use a taller ladder. As you can see there, it hooks right onto the ledges there. It's not going nowhere. Just a basic angle iron. We only partially put it together right here. What we did is we took the bolts, which are half inch diameter, and we fed one through. Like I mentioned earlier, that nut is uh, tack welded on both spots, so you're not gonna lose them. And then we went ahead and started together. When that goes together like that, all your down pressure is pulling lengthwise on it. It could have been done with an angle bracket here, but I wanted to be able to take it apart. It could be welded up differently. I've only used this thing once and it worked great for getting the compressor up on the roof. So this works really well. And what we did is we're gonna take a, I prefer 18 volt. I did this with my 12 volt, but it didn't do so well. Just got a adapter there. You could use half inch, uh, head or you could use 3 8 This is 3 8 And then uh, this bolt uh, right here, which I tack welded here, will control it. A lot easier than doing it by hand cranking along. And since we're using a worm drive, that won't come down. So you're gonna be able to control your load without having a so-called brake on it uh, to worry about it uh, falling down on someone or whatever. And then you can do it in high speed. You could do this with an impact. So what we're gonna do, is gonna take our half inch drill here with 3 8 uh, drive on it. You could do that with a half inch if you really felt the need to. And we got a three quarter inch socket right here. This three quarter inch here also matches the size bolts back here on the back. So you can use the same socket to tighten those up and get those into place. And same thing here with our worm drive. Now what we got going on, we tied a battery to it. Your ladder, you're going to preferably use probably an eight or 10 foot, depending on what it is. You could be on a roof hatch, put down a piece of plywood so that you protect the rubber roof or whatever you have. And then you're just going to take it up your slack and then you can just lift up your load right on up to there like that. Now, you're obviously using the ladder as the balance point here. Even if you have a hundred and some pounds on there, it still isn't gonna be an issue. Generally, most compressors are only gonna be around 100 to 150 pounds unless you're getting a really monstrous one, uh, which I don't see why it wouldn't work. You may have to go with a heavier ladder. This one's only rated for 300 pounds. But as you can see, I have $20 or $30 in the winch and really nothing in the metal. The battery obviously doesn't weigh much, but it was for demonstration purposes. And then uh, once you got it up to where you needed it at, you can sit there and lower it back down. All right, and like I said, you can do this with a straight ladder also, and it hooks on those rungs exactly the same way. And then you just sit there and balance the straight ladder with your one hand, and then you take your other hand, holding on to your drill, 
and just run that thing up in the air. That's almost a good four foot, five foot away from the roof. For those ones out there, yeah, it's a roof, a rough, whatever you want to call it. That's about it, guys. That one's pretty simple. It worked really well. I used this on a uh, presser change out on the roof and uh, it lifted it right up. You can put some washers on the uh, back side of that right there to strengthen it up on the bracket and uh, the nice thing about this is not only is it low cost but you don't have to have 120 volt the reason why i had this one a little bit longer here was so that it didn't fall into that area there like i said you can hook it anywhere on the rung that you need to but that's uh, the principle behind how it works you can make it out of something else you can go solid tubing you can go with whatever it is you want to do and then uh, make it as strong as you want but the principle of it is like I said, you could actually move the winch back to here. You could put a pulley here and the pulley would double your uh, pulling power, supposedly. All right, and one last little invention I got going on here is another little crane. And this is just made out of a uh, uni strut, uh, basic L brackets, took them, welded them onto the uh, metal down below, drilled a hole through it sideways. Put a half inch bolt in there, same thing there. That way you could change the feet if you want to change the feet. You can change your length, your height, and you can move it to whatever you want. Basically what we got is just a little trolley system here, which works out just awesome. You can put a, a chain come along on this, put your compressor down below, and you can lift it up. Now there's not a crap load of stabilization down below here. And like I said, you could add on to them, you could make them longer. And here's the last of my gizmos that I've kind of built over the years. We've got a compressor puller or a caddy, whatever you want to call it. This right here, I think they're 35 bucks, 45 bucks in the uh, stores. Um, this is nothing but a half inch black iron pipe that I put in a uh, uh, rigid tripod and bent it around the edge. Took a piece of stainless steel, which didn't have to be that. Drilled a hole through it, welded around it, and grinded that down. And then a piece of metal strapping basically was used to hold the uh, shelving in the van. It's the wall. It was kind of a thicker piece. It's generic, but I've been wanting to rebuild it forever. Honestly, it does just fine. One of my other Gasmo gadgets. This here basically is a borrowed idea. Could have been made with one single piece right here. I could have taken this piece of metal, got it heated up with my hand torch, bent it into a loop. That would have been an eyelet and then could have welded the edge corner. This here could have been, it would have looked a little nicer if I would have used another piece of that and bent it and welded that on there. But instead, I just used a washer, another washer cut in half and welded there. And then I just took this piece here and then bended it in the uh, vise, heated it up. That way it made it easier to bend. And then the way this actually works is basically I've got my rope. It's got two hooks on it. I use the heavier hook at the top. That helps hold it. This is not real heavy. So if there's quite a bit of distance uh, between you and the ground where you're trying to lift up your stuff, um, that uh, will sway around in the wind a little bit. So it may have been nice to have taken this up to the next diameter possibly. But uh, what you do is you just lift your whatever it is you're wanting to lift up. And then... Uh, you pull it up to the roof and then uh, or if you're say you're wanting to take things off the roof and put them on the ground you let them down and then you pull on the other hook and it just unhooks and you can lay your torches down your vacuum pump uh, weight scale refrigerant bottles whatever about as equivalent to this uh, gadget here this is 3 8 uh, copper uh, what i did is i put it uh, a CO2 bottle for paintball gun in the vise and I took the copper and just wrapped it around it and then once uh, before I got too close to this area right here I took my bending tool and bended this up and then same thing down here I swedged this and bent this in advance then brazed it together then I went through with my braze and added different spots along the lines and then I also did it and multiple different spots on the side there and uh, this side here takes care of this side now only draw back the way I did this because I didn't have any 3 8 ones um, I went ahead and used these quarters and stuck them inside there but in all reality it's quarter inch here anyway so whether or not doesn't really freaking matter uh, you're pulling out in liquid the uh, principle behind this is you can throw it in a bucket of water 
I can hook this here on one of my shelves in my truck and throw it in a bucket of water and throw some ice in there with it and recover some uh, 410A. I have, for the most part, nothing in that at all. These are made by CPS and they are, I thought 125 bucks or something like that. Not worth it. I wouldn't pay that much when you can freaking throw this uh, together in a jiffy. Unless you just like spending money. I'd rather spend my money on cool tools that I can't build. Uh, this stuff here is brain dead. And then this last uh, thing here, stole this idea off another guy uh, where I used to work at. Uh, this is just a 3 8 uh, it says quarter inch T. So the principle behind this thing here, and you could use whatever hose you want. What I do with this, I put my flushing solution, let's say here, and the nitrogen here. I can sit there and have them both shut off and open up one, shoot it through, uh, hook this to another, uh, to a, a, one of the blow guns with the little rubber stopper in it, uh, and then uh, inject the uh, flush solution in there, shut that off, and then just open up the other one, which would be a whole lot easier if I didn't have one hand on a camera, and uh, blast it on through. It uh, kind of saves you a little bit when you're, uh, say you're shooting upwards and you just uh, are trying to flush it, say you're in the basement and you're shooting up the side of the wall and you don't want the crap floating back down on you. This here allows you to keep it solid, uh, connected to it, and then blast it through. You could use a compression fitting uh, with the copper line, whatever. Uh, either one of those things would make it a little easier. My new compressor puller is going to be made out of this, uh, I believe it's one inch diameter. Uh, see, maybe stainless steel is what it looks like. It's uh, hollow tubing. Uh, what I plan on doing is uh, cutting a 45 degree angle on both sides here, welding a bead around that, taking this side here, smashing it down with a hammer, getting me a piece of flat stock, uh, probably inch wide, inch and a quarter wide, and then just wrap it around something that's round, and then weld a bead there and there, and then add a little piece of rubber on both sides instead of the duct tape. It'll look a little nicer, but you know, it works just fine. That uh, generic tool there is never going to get stolen, and if it does, I'm out squat. All right, guys, if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the comment section down below so you can see the links to my webpage, email, and all kinds of other miscellaneous information, along with toolboxes that I've put together of all the different tools that I used in my previous videos. I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch the video, and until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.